One of XRP's, or shall I say XRP Ledger's strengths is its suitability to tokenize real world assets. Now, a lot of projects can also do tokenization, but none of them are quite as efficient as XRP Ledger because it was in its inception, part of its design to do just that. And people are starting to take notice. And when I say people, I mean the thought leaders, the people who are responsible for making these decisions, big banks, organizations, are starting to take notes, right? Look at this article. XRP is expanding its focus to tokenize real-world assets. XRP Ledger's ability to tokenize RWAs is seen as a game changer with potential to revolutionize industries like real estate. This strategic move positions XRPL as a key player in the fast-growing field of asset tokenization. Now, I keep banging on about the fact that I think a lot of the money, if not most of it, is going to come into XRP from real world asset tokenization, especially from the APAC region, right? Ripple's chief technology officer recently unveiled an exciting shift for the XRP ledger as it sets its sights on tokenizing real world assets. This bold move aligns XRPL with financial giants like JP Morgan and Bank of America and puts it at the forefront of blockchain innovation. Can this change the world of finance as we know it? Understanding XRPL's evolution, in a recent interview, Schwartz shared the evolution of XRP Ledger, expressing joy that the technology behind the Ledger is gaining recognition beyond the native token XRP. This shift highlights that the XRP Ledger technology itself is becoming a captivating force in finance. So people are starting to pay attention. Despite what's going on with the legal shenanigans, the thought leaders, the people in the industry are starting to pay attention. So, hey, wait a minute, there's something here. Schwartz pointed out that growing interest from major financial players in XRPL's tech, fitting in with predictions that the tokenization market could hit 30 trillion by 2030. 30 trillion. While users can still do regular XRP transactions, Schwab stressed that the real game changer is XRPL's ability to tokenize real world assets. So I am in agreement with Schwartz. I've been going on about this for quite a while, and I'm happy to see this take more of the front row rather than just the cross-border payments, CBDC, stuff that we hear all the time. Real-world assets tokenization, a game changer. Schwartz, excited about real-world tokenization, sees it as a practical solution embraced by financial giants like JP Morgan and Bank of America. Advisors plans to use tokenization to revolutionize real estate with XRP becoming the go-to marketplace for tokenized real world assets thanks to its low transaction costs. And more things than that. It's, it's not just the low transaction costs, it's the efficiency of the blockchain and the design is very efficient to tokenize real world assets. This move towards asset tokenization is a significant step in the blockchain world. XRPL isn't just adapting, it's positioning itself as a key player in a fast growing field. Ripple's initiative are set to reshape industries, offering more efficient, secure, and accessible ways to handle real world assets. XRPL is leading the charge in a future full of possibilities. Basically, we're in for a tsunami of money coming into the XRP ledger once these switches are turned. Now, unfortunately, we've overhyped the time a little bit, which has caused some sort of fatigue in XRP army. But if we get back to the fundamentals, we get back to the work that's been done in the background and we take our minds off what's happening you know, in the in America with the SEC and the courts and realize that we are at the precipice of a paradigm shift and very, very, very few projects are ready for it. And XRP is positioned perfectly to capitalize on all these changes that are happening. And the thought leaders are paying attention. This is the other thing. Someone made a comment in one of my videos, which I agree with 100%. Unfortunately, XRP isn't really a people token, right? We hold it and we're very stubborn. We're not letting it go. But really, it's not a token for retail. It's not a retail token. It is an industry token. It's a banker's token, right? It's an architectural infrastructure token, which is why, you know, they don't care if the price is going up or not because they're not investing in it for the money. They're investing in it for the effect that it's going to have on their business, right? So the financial uh the, the portfolio manager or the real estate company that is looking to use XRP Ledger to tokenize their assets isn't bothered much about the XRP price itself, but they're bothered by the business that it's going to bring in once they start the tokenization, if that makes any sense. Anyway, exciting times in 2024. 
not financial advice, do your own research, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.